Hey guys, this is Kim from Creative DIY Purpose. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. If you love upcycled projects, thrifting, thrift flips, and you love vintage treasures, you are in the right place. I have several upcycled projects for you. We're going to be taking some thrift store baskets and hopefully flipping them for a profit and a few other different upcycled projects in there as well. So come on, let's get started. All right, so for project number one today, I have this cute little wicker basket. Uh, definitely needs a refresh. It's Parts of it is yellowed and stained. So I use some black matte spray paint and I'm just gonna lightly distress the edges. So I decided that I wanted to use some of the iron-on paper that I have. So I went and made a graphic on Canva.com and the one for the bottom is for a different project that we'll show today. And I'm going to save it with a transparent background. And we're going to do, do the print in reverse. Going to just size it on a regular sheet of paper. And we're going to go ahead and just print that right out. So they recommend ironing on a piece of fabric that is on wood, not on an ironing board. So I just put a flower sack over the top and that is actually what I cut my, um, our patch out of. They were, I think I got five for $4.99 at Aldi. So I used one that I'm gonna cut up and use for different projects. And so it was about two minutes that I had the iron on, made sure not to leave it and burn the fabric anywhere. But oh my gosh, and it came out they came out so crisp and so clean. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do, I really love this matte spray. I'm definitely going to link it below for you guys. I liked it even mm -hmm. better than my Rust-Oleum. And I never thought that I would say that. But so I'm going to just playing with some fabrics and I'm going to go ahead and cut the edges off and layer that on. And I did glue the fabrics on using... E6000. And then I just made a little rosette out of some of the scrap fabric from the label. All right, so for project number two is this cute little wooden lantern that I picked up at a yard sale over the summer. And I'm just going to go ahead and use some DIY dark wax. I'm going to coat the entire piece and let it sit on for probably about an hour. And then I'm going to take a rag and wipe it back. I actually think that's one of the kids outgrown sweatshirts, but hey, it worked. So this was definitely tedious. I had to go and get Q-tips just to get into all of the cracks, but it, it was worth it. it. It has that aged look to it. And I'm really excited to get this styled up. I added a battery operated candle with a little pitberry wreath around the base. I will link these battery operated pillar candles below. They are absolutely wonderful. You can run them off a remote, you can run them all at the same time or just one at a time. All right, so I have this beautiful wooden chalkboard that has been how on my side porch all summer long waiting for a facelift. So I'm just using regular white wall paint because I promised myself for the month of November I was not going to buy any paint or supplies. So here I am using the frog tape and I'm going to tape it off and I realize, oh my gosh, the whole back just came right out. So, and I do end up fixing that and stabilizing that. So when I had three coats of paint on here, I realized it was just too stark. So I did exactly what I did with a lantern and used some DIY dark wax. I drilled two holes up at the top and strung some rope. And I am just in love with the way that this piece turned out. This is definitely one that I would love to keep, but it is going up for sale. But I love the aged look and the... Greenery can just be pulled right off and changed out for the seasons. All right, so another project that I have had staring at me all summer long is this cute little wicker picnic basket. And it's kind of falling apart. I was going to remove the hinges. This was a handmade top for the basket. It doesn't seat properly. 
and I also need a basket this size to be able to put different products in that I have for sale and I thought this would be beautiful for display so I don't want to paint the actual basket um, but I want to give the handles a pop of color and a refresh but I'm really not digging that cream color after it got done so I took this outside with that frog tape that stuff is phenomenal and use the two coats of that black spray paint and there was only you can still see right there where I messed up with the chiffon cream but I do sand that out and there was just one small spot in there where the spray paint popped through and I was able to sand that out too but I was so impressed with how clean and how well that tape worked so I decided just to go ahead and just do a very light distress right along the edges and that chiffon cream popped right back out just enough for a beautiful contrast and I'm going to go ahead and apply clear wax to the handles everything that I painted and on the outside of the basket and then the bottom board so I cut two pieces of fabric out and I'm going to use that um, handmade sign only in a size bigger and I'm just going to go ahead and iron it right on to that little piece of fabric and I love the ticking fabric I was so excited to find a piece left in my fabric stash so here I just went ahead and put some fabric glue on and I did go ahead and sand the part of the basket where I was going to glue this on because I should not have waxed it first but it adhered beautifully so tell me what do you guys think of this basket transformation also let me know in the comments below would you have painted the entire piece and if so what color Okay, so if you were able to catch my easy Christmas DIY video, you're going to see that I did the same process. I found some vintage gift paper. Look at this beautiful folder. This is like my childhood in here. Um, I remember all these prints from back in like the 70s. And I'm going to go through. I'm looking for another piece that I'm hoping is, and there it is newspaper print and different ads how ironic that the actual gift paper is now vintage so i'm just going to go along and tear along the edges and the rolling pin i got for 3.99 at a thrift store and i applied a thin layer of mod podge all over the entire piece all the way around i'm going to go out and spray it with acrylic sealer as soon as I get a little black paint on the handles and I'm just going on there lightly every which direction I will take some fine grit sandpaper and lightly give that a little bit more of a distressed look before I do spray it with the acrylic sealer then I go through with sandpaper to just lightly give it more of an aged look. I want it to look like it's actually part of the rolling pin. And then on this one, I did two coats of polycrylic using fine grit sandpaper in between each coat, letting it dry. But oh my gosh, this has got to be one of my favorite projects that I've done the past few weeks. And I will link that other video for you below. All right, and this next basket is super quick. It definitely needs a refresh so I'm gonna go ahead and use that same black matte spray paint I'm gonna link that for you guys below and then I just lightly distress the edges and I added some clear wax to seal it all in project number seven is this cute little wooden peg shelf the sides came completely off of it so we were able to glue and rehammer all of that in i went ahead and sanded this piece and went ahead and gave it two coats of spray paint and realized that the green paint up at the top must be when someone painted it it ran so i had to go redo it again and then i added a light distress
for ages this cute little mini pocket basket i got for a dollar 99 i think it was at the beginning of the summer from a thrift store and it is time to give it a makeover so i sprayed it with that matte spray paint just going to go through and distress it and try to bring out some of the wicker basket color just to give it a little contrast and so it was just cutting out some more of the scraps some ticking fabric and some muslin and i had made a little iron-on basket that actually came from the printout that i did and i think layering them at threes i did fray the edges of the piece with the iron-on just to help give it some texture and I'm just taking scraps. I think I kept like every every piece of scrap. And I just want to make like a little rag bow, just a tiny one, just to add some more texture. So if you guys can comment below, let me know which one of these projects is your favorite. And let me know if you're currently working on any project. Share it with me. All right, so we got our bow already, but first I want to take some of the string and make a loop so that way it can hang right around the back and it's just going to go ahead and wrap some string around a few times and that's right where we're going to hot glue the bow project number nine is this cute little wooden chair that i thrifted for 4.99 i started spray painting it and realized oh my goodness i never got any before pics it's got a lot of dings and bumps. It was originally going to be painted and go out as a garden or deck chair to hold a plant, but I already had one and decided to turn this into kind of like prim style chair. So it's got a lot of distress on it and I think it came out super cute. Number 10 is this beautiful, sturdy gathering basket. It's got a discoloration and some watermarks but it's super sturdy and it's just a beautiful design i went ahead and added two coats of that black matte spray paint and i think it came out beautiful but it's just lacking something so i'm gonna go ahead and actually make a basket liner for the inside and i didn't have any fabric and um that really spoke to me for this piece and so i've got to stick with my promise for november and i'm just going to use what i have on hand so i thought it might look really neat to use the iod crackery stamps and all i did was stamp this fabric and then i let it dry overnight and then ran a low temp flat iron on it just to seal the ink in okay and the next thing that i did was i wanted to tack this fabric down inside the basket so I just laid this flat and I folded over all the edges just so it would have a nice finished look and then I'm just going to tack on the fabric on the two longer sides first so that I can do a tuck and fold on the shorter ends and it, this took me quite a while because I did not want to get hot glue all over and I wanted to make it just as even as possible. I did get a little bit of the glue on the to the fabric and on the basket just a touch and I just took a washcloth and a hairdryer and just wiped it off and I was really happy with the way that it came out. If you have a plain piece of fabric it's the possibilities are endless as long as you got some ink and you could probably even use some fabric paint and create your own design right on the fabric. All right, so for project number 11, I have this cute little wooden carrier. Um, it had a lot of discoloration on it. So I decided instead of painting it to give it some DIY white wax. This is so easy and it's so much fun. It's actually kind of therapeutic. Just brushing it on goes on just like butter. So I'm just going to brush it all over the whole thing. I'm gonna leave it on for a few hours and then come back and just buff it out. 
And this is going to help also protect the wood along with just giving it a fresh new look. The wax brush makes it so easy because it helps to get it in all the little cracks. All right, so this is what it looked like after I had buffed it out and it looked a little plain and needed something. So I decided to um, sand that middle slat and I went on and printed out the graphic that I made. And this one I actually did on tissue paper because I know that I was going to be doing like a decoupage technique. So basically, I'm just gluing this piece of tissue paper on and then I'll go ahead after it's dried and apply two coats of polycrylic to seal it in. All right, what do you guys think of this project, how it turned out? For project number 12, I thought that this little woven basket was just a little mini version of the larger picnic basket. So I applied the two coats of spray paint and distressed the edges and it's like we have a mommy and me set now. And I love the contrast between the black and the natural basket color. All right, and for our 13th and final project for today, I decided since I had everything out and I already made the graphic that I was going to go ahead and iron it on a flower sack. I like to use them as a towel because they're so lightweight and they dry quick and this was so super easy i want to say that it was only two two minutes of ironing and you got to make sure that you're moving that iron back and forth so it doesn't get any brown marks uh just i made sure that i washed the fabric first but i think this would make such a beautiful gift inside of a gift basket and i love how crisp and clean the final look is So much for joining me today i hope that you like this video please comment and let me know below which project was your favorite and let me know are you working on any projects and what are they i'll see you next week and god bless